guys! Happy, happy Wednesday! Welcome to The Mix Daily Top 10. I'm VJ Ai. Ako ang mga kasama ninyo ngayon as I give out the top 10 local and international music videos that you voted for on our official website. Ano nga yun? Mixph.com Sana tumambay kayo dyan every day at bumoto sa inyong mga favorites. Anyway guys, today is April 21. It's a very special day dahil meron tayong special guest mamaya. It's our Kumu Rising Star of the Month on Mix uh, na winner. And siya for the whole month of April, makapanood niya siya dito sa Mix. Uh, mamaya kikilala na natin siya, okay? And isa pang nagpapa-special sa araw na ito ay birthday ngayon ng isa sa mga pillars of Mix. Um, kumbaga, sa mix, siguro pwedeng siya yung letter M. <laughs> Dahil yun yung starting letter ng last name niya. <laughs> I'm talking about VJ Luis Manzano. Happy, happy birthday! Of course, VJ Luis or VJ Lucky. Siya talaga isa sa mga pioneers uh, sa mix. Uh, isa sa mga una natin nakilala na VJs. Uh, nag-establish kung ano nga ba ang VJ. So, you know, we're very... We're very happy uh, for him sa bagong chapter ng life niya ngayon. And of course, dahil nga birthday niya ngayon, um, lahat kami um, inaalala namin ang mga masasayang uh, alaala, masasayang araw with uh, BJ Luis. So happy, happy birthday, BJ Luis. If you are watching, you know this. We love you so much. Uh, you are a blessing to everyone in your life. So marami marami salamat for being in ours. And happy, happy birthday din sa lahat ng mga may birthday today, April 21. Greet them, guys. And while you're greeting them, eto na muna ang ating first music video at number 10. Here is Moira with Paubaya, starring Josh Leah, Joshua Garcia, and Julia Barreto. So, kumustahan portion muna tayo dito sa Mix Daily Top 10 as usual. So, what's new with you guys? Ako, I have a new sponsor. Sobrang saya ko, guys. Diba, kakasabi ko lang, you know, recently in the past weeks, I have a new family, yung Globe. Ngayon naman, may bagong dumating na bagong family. It's Novo Dental. Um, and, pansin nyo naman siguro sa teeth ko, guys. You know how... OCIM <laughs> and medyo you know masela na ako sa teeth so finally or na ako ng ano dental sponsor so marami marami salamat Novo Dental um and yes to uh, all of my other sponsors mamaya papasalamat ako kayo at the end of the show but yes Today is a very special day. It's the first day of uh, my partnership with Novo Dental. But anyway, guys, kayo, while you are thinking of what's new with your lives naman, let us move on to our next music video. Here is River by MNL48 at number 9. So guys, napanood nyo ba ang last episode ng Kwentong Barber with Edward Barber? So yung pinaka-recent was with Kyle Cherry and Francine Diaz. Meron pang replays yan throughout the week dito sa mix. So abangan nyo yan guys. And of course, abangan nyo ang next special guest sa Kwentong Barber with Edward Barber every Wednesday yan. 6pm live sa aming Kumu account at MixPH with its TV premiere every Sunday naman at 8pm. So while we are waiting for that, eto na muna ang BTS with Life Goes On at number and it's time for us to review kung sino nga ba ang ating Kumu Rising Star of the Month on Mix winner for the month of April. Kilalanin natin siya. Joining us all the way from London, please give it up for Jordan Andrews. Hey, how you doing? So happy to be here. Hi, hello, Jordan. Welcome to Mix. So I understand this is your first time here. How are yes. you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited for this opportunity. So excited to talk to you. It's going to be great. So Jordan, have you always been based in London or do you visit the Philippines from time to time? Well, actually, I was born and raised in London um, since the early 90s. Let's not reveal my age. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when I was 16, I actually moved to the Philippines and I stayed there for nearly four years. Yeah. I was in oh. um, Star Magic, Batch 15, um, and yeah, I was there for nearly four years. And then I ended up moving from the Philippines to L.A. So then I lived in L.A. for seven years, and now I'm back in London, and I'm spending more time with family, and I'm still able to do the work that I love doing. So it's great being home. 
So that explains your music video shot in LA. Exactly. That's why. Okay. Yeah. But before we get to that, um, where in the Philippines are you from? Uh, my mom is from Pampanga and my okay. dad is from Ilocos Norte. So wherever I go in the Philippines, I know there's good food and I love it. <laughs> well, that's true. I can't argue with that. But um, <laughs> we want to know what sparked your interest in music. Um, has it always yeah. been there? It's really funny, actually, because I have older brothers and I think my mm -hmm. parents tried to get them into music. And they just weren't into it. My dad's always loved music. So by the time they got to me, the youngest of the brothers, mm -hmm. they didn't even force it on me. I just, for some reason, gravitated towards it. I saw my dad playing like old vinyl records in the living room. Mm -hmm. And back then there wasn't Google to look up lyrics. He had the songbooks, the really thick songbooks. Yes. And he would learn them and I would want to learn them with him. So before I could read, I was learning the lyrics of like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, the Eagles, and it was just always in me from a young age. And then I went to a performing arts school at three years old. So from three to the end of high school, I was at one school. It was Whoa. a performing arts school, yeah. So we did music every day, dance, drama, acting, music, um, and all different types too. Uh, it was owned by uh, the legend, Phil Collins, his mom. <gasps> and yeah, it's right here in West London. And I was just super lucky to be there for my almost yeah, my entire education. Um, and we just did so much. There was a lot of acting. We had an agent there. So a lot of kid actors in London come from this school. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many, so many great people have come from this school. Naomi Campbell went there. Um, Damage, the 90s boy band. I don't know if you've ever seen the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Some of the cast from there. Um, Oliver, just, they produced so many great artists. So it's always been something I've done. I've actually, I don't think I've done anything else. <laughs> so right yeah. from the start, right from the right get-go, it's, it's been what you want. Have you ever been part of um, some musicals there in yes. London? Yes, yeah. I was um, part of Miss Saigon the first time round back here in the early 90s. With um, Leia I Salonga? The, uh, I was right after that, but I was one of, oh. one of the Tams. So I played one of the kids. Um, so like right after the Leia Salonga, it was Riva, Salazar, Maya Beredo, Carla Guevara, La Forteza. Um, and I was one of the kids. So, I mean, I was only four and I... Don't remember much at that age, but I remember the helicopter. I remember the loud music and I remember just running around stage. It was probably the easiest job I'll ever have. But from there, <laughs> I did The King and I. I've done a bunch of musicals here and in the Philippines. So it's always been there as well. Oh, wow. You yeah. have such a rich history and we're so excited that, you know, you decided to venture into Kumu. But before we yes. talk about your Kumu journey, let's talk about your original song, Unforgiven, yeah. which also has a music video out. Um, can you tell us about this song? Yeah. Um, when I moved to L.A., I was so fortunate to work with some amazing producers. PJ Bianco, who works a lot with like Nick Jonas and Heidi Rojas, who wrote a lot of songs for Little Mix and Cheryl Cole. And we all got together in the studio and we wrote about three songs and I'm actually going to release them all um, mm -hmm. at some point and like an EP. I'm so excited about them. I'm just continuing to write, continuing to find exactly the right sound. But the song Unforgiven was just one of those songs that honestly, it felt like magic. We played around with the music so much, but then we got to the point where we thought, okay, let's just keep this piano and vocals. Let's keep it all about the emotions of the lyrics that we wrote and I loved it. And then right before we shot the music video, we thought, okay, it could be a typical breakup song where, you know, you're in a cafe talking to the girl and you break up and it's dramatic. But I saw mm -hmm. a picture of a man holding his wife who was in like this situation where the building around them collapsed and they were covered in dirt, but he was holding his wife so tightly. And I was like, okay, that right there is true love. Like in the midst of chaos, he was just holding his wife and we based the entire music video off that one picture that I saw so it's not your typical breakup music video like the more me and the girl fight the more the world around us crumbles and we end up under this building like trying to fight for this love but everything else around us is crashing so yeah Try that to is be creative. pretty intense <laughs> yeah it was pretty intense it is it is we shot it in the Mojave Desert and it was like it was so cold and I was only wearing a black t-shirt and there's smoke coming out of my mouth and people ask if I was smoking, but it was just because it was so cold that this vapor was coming out of my mouth. And it was it was cold in the desert. It so, was so wow, cold. That was, it was so cold. such an experience. <laughs> so yeah. fun. So to everyone watching, guys, do vote for it. Um, Unforgiven on our official yeah. 
website mixph.com so we can enter our charts. So guys, medyo dinugubay ilong nyo doon. Mamaya itutuloy natin yan with Jordan Andrews. But for now, here's LML Roy by Jackson Wang at number 7. Now what? <laughs> Now let's continue our fun chit chat with our London boy, Jordan Andrews. Play it. Now let's talk about your Kumu journey. Yes. How did you like get mixed up with uh, this local live streaming app all the way there in London? You know what? Given everyone's situation, I thought, what tools do I have? How can I still reach out and bridge the gap between countries? And I heard about Kumu and I thought, what a cool thing. Like it doesn't matter what country you're in, it doesn't matter where you are, what time zone. You can literally reach out through your phone and just meet people. So, and as an artist, I thought, what a great way to share my singing, my music, and all of the skills that I've gathered over the years. So I downloaded it um, right at the beginning of this year, literally mm -hmm. on New Year's Day. I just started streaming. And honestly, over the three months that I've been on there, I've met some incredible people that honestly, I don't even know what I did to deserve the support that I have. Because from the very first month, I was like starting campaigns, starting competitions. I even walked through my journey with covid on on humu i actually like oh. got it recovered and just got to share that journey too so there's been so much that's gone on um on humu and i've just met so many cool people but then i thought okay i saw the mix rising star of the month campaign and i thought okay this is something i want to do like mm -hmm. really bad so the fact that they all rallied around me and supported to the point where I actually got the top one spot, honestly. I'm still blown away. I actually still hasn't sunk in. I think the most it's sunk in is right now talking to you. It just makes <laughs> it like so real. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you everyone that helped me to get this and help support me. And yeah. just on your third month on the app. So exactly. congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's been so, a well week. Um, you know, just to give us an idea what you guys, what, what you did um, in those streams to help you achieve yeah. <laughs> this um, number one spot on the Kumu Rising Star of the Month on Mix campaign. Can you give us a little sample of uh, what you would sing in your uh, streams? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I would do like theme nights. I'll do an OPM nights, which is a struggle for me. Obviously, I speak very <laughs> British English, but I try mm -hmm. and sing Tagalog songs. So some nights I do an R&B thing. Um, some nights I would actually write a song on my live stream with them. So they like help me Whoa. with ideas on writing a song. And then every time they did, I'd actually, every time they supported me with a virtual gift, I'd write their name. So all these names on my wall on the back are people who dropped virtual gifts and supported me during the campaign. But, yeah. uh, what would I sing? I sing, um, I like me better all the time. Do you know that song? Wait, wait, wait. But you mentioned you would sing um, OPM songs. So oh. that caught my ear. So sorry, you, you can't back out from that. <laughs> I shot myself you... in the foot right there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sing like a, a song in Filipino? Yeah, so let's go. Um, okay. I would sing um Akoy alipin mo kahit hindi batid. A meaning comment sana koy man hit. Sana ay yung naririni. That one. <laughs> yeah. I'm like just trying to remember the lyrics without reading them. <laughs> there, you know what? Your accent is uh, actually pretty good uh, for Thank someone you. who has, uh, who was born and raised in uh, London. Um, you know, usually we we hear more of a twang, but yeah. with with your with your song, it was great. So congratulations. Thank you. That's cool. Uh, once every again, day. if you ask him in January, they were like, he did not sound like that in January. He's just been doing it a lot and practicing a lot. <laughs> so it's nice, you know, uh, it's a two-way thing. Um, yeah. Your streamers loved your um, your streams, obviously. And, you know, you get, you got to um, experience a lot as well. You learned exactly. from them. But um, overall, like, what is your message to all of your uh, supporters, especially those who uh, wh whose names are on your wall, yeah. um, who helped you reach um, where you are right now? Um, what's your message to them? Honestly, thank you is not enough the gratitude and like the overwhelming feeling I got from being supported by people. Honestly, I still question what did I do to deserve this support? Honestly, it's like thinking that people are watching me all over the world on their phones and mm -hmm. rallying behind me, supporting me. It's honestly the most like overwhelming feeling. It's like, wow, I'm feeling so appreciated and it's so nice. Like beyond the prize, just that alone is the prize for me. It's 
hearing, hear, listening to people hear my music and get to know me and say that they support me, you know, and it's just, it's so overwhelming. So thank you isn't enough. I wish there was more words to describe the thanks I feel, but thank you, thank you, thank you. It's honestly been the biggest blessing. Well, yeah. now that you're here, Jordan, it's a testament uh, as to how anything is possible. Um, totally. So if there is an artist that you'd like to collaborate with, who would it be? Ooh. Sky's the limit. They would instantly There's say so yes many. to you. I mean, obviously, the first person on my head is Bruno Mars. I'm like, oh. okay, he's representing <laughs> Filipinos. He's got exactly. the most amazing vocals, the most mm -hmm. amazing music. He's such a trailblazer. Like, every album has a different vibe, but it's still him. And he brings mm -hmm. back like a whole era of music into his album but it's still current like, yes it's such a such a cool thing to see so i definitely look up to him but then i'm i'm like also thinking wow that would be the biggest challenge for me to do a collab with him but i'm up for it so if he's listening <laughs> if bruno he's listening, mars if you're watching <laughs> hi <laughs> how about locally locally okay there's a couple different people. Um, obviously, I watch a lot of them online and the vocals of Morissette. Can I just imagine doing a duet with Morissette and I'm like, okay, that would be incredible. There's also mm -hmm. um, an artist called Griff. She's actually from the UK, but she's also Asian. Mm -hmm. um, she was the voice on that Disney Filipino themed Christmas commercial. And I first heard her there. But then I've been listening to her music as she's developed and she's won a ton of awards already in the UK as like the newcomer award. And she's she's amazing. I think she'd be someone great that I'd like to collab with. Yes, we actually have an interview with her. I've interviewed I've interviewed her, I think, last year. Yeah. Griff, um, such an amazing so artist. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. I've been jamming out to her songs. <laughs> well, we hope, you know, those collaborations happen in the future. Nothing is impossible. But That's while true. we wait for that, where can we follow you online and where can we watch you? Yeah, Every Kumu, when? Instagram. My handle on everything is I am Jordan Andrews, just the way it's usually spelled. Super simple. And yeah, I stream nearly every day. So I don't want you to get sick of my face, but you will <laughs> join on Kumu and you'll see me at some point. And I'm always on Instagram and everything else like that. Yeah. Yay! Thank you so much, Jordan Andrews, for dropping by the Mix Daily Thank Top you. 10. Um, we hope we get to see you real soon um, with your new music videos. But until then, um, hello from the Philippines. <laughs> Take Hi, care. Philippines. <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much. Had a great time. And there you have it, guys. Panoorin natin si Jordan Andrews all month long dito sa Mix. Marami pa kami ilalabas about him. Okay, but for now, eto na muna ang ating next music video. Here is Encore by GOT7 at number 6. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating Mix Pwestuhan from Monday to Thursday sa aming Kumu account at Mix PH. So ano ba yung Mix Pwestuhan? Basically, pumupwesto dyan ang mga up-and-coming artists for a free live gig. Free lang yan sa aming Kumu account. Okay, so for today, we have Josh Nubla at 1pm and Mark Atienza at 8pm. So samahan niyo sila, guys. And of course, every Thursday, huwag natin kalilimutan panoorin ang pinakabagong show natin sa Kumu. It's called Homegrown with DJ Buddha and Mike Swift. So every Thursday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Basically, you know, it's the place for homegrown local hip-hop talents. Diba? Homegrown na local pa. So, sa lahat ng mga fans ng Pinoy hip-hop scene dyan, pumunta na kayo every Thursday, 7 p.m. sa aming Kumu account, Mix PH. But for now, eto na muna ang ating music video at number 5. Here is Driver's License by Hugot Queen, um, Olivia Rodrigo. Enjoy. So for the whole month of April, we have featured artists and et sila guys. We have BGYO as our mix spotlight artist. Panoorin nyo guys, kaka-upload lang namin ang who's who na feature namin sa kanila. So basically, marami kami yung tinatanong uh, sa kanila about their group. And of course, they have to vote kung sino nga ba yung pinakaganun sa group nila. And our mix headliner naman for this month ay si Darren Espato, the total performer. Guys, meron kami yung bagong um, in-upload sa, kanila, uh, sa kanya. Um, and it's about what would you do, uh, Darren, kung napunta ka sa ganitong situation, mga ganyan. So, you know, you get to know more a person 
minsan, di ba, kapag tinatanong mo ng mga ganong questions, mga random, kasi syempre mga basic questions, ang dami beses na natin na rinig yan and napanood natin online, marami na siyang interviews na ginawa. So, you know, we're trying to bring you some fresh content uh, and, you know, mag enjoy kayo dyan sa What Would You Do? with Darren. Okay? And also, mag-enjoy din kayo sa aming exclusive interviews every um, Monday to Friday yan uh, sa aming social media accounts. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Kumu. So, panoorin niyo lahat yan. Kahapon, I got to interview DJ Lunio, Mark Oblea, and Deuces. Tapos marami pang iba. Um, buong pandemic, guys. As in, nag interview kami both local and international artists. Lahat yan naka-upload. So, if you want to know more about your favorite artists or if you want to discover new artists, pumunta lang kayo sa aming socials and look for our mix exclusives. Alright? But for now, itong wish na wish ko. Ma-interview ko rin someday kasi grabe siya idol. Here is Bruno Mars with Anderson Pack in their collective project called Silk Sonic. Here's Leave the Door Open I'm gonna leave the door open At number 4. So guys, nakita nyo ba yung posts ni Ariana Grande and The Weeknd? So apparently, meron silang upcoming collaboration na maririnig na raw natin soon. You know, there are many articles saying that, like Billboard, parang it may come sooner than you think daw. So, hmm, this Friday na kaya? Wow! But basically, yung pinost nila, 8 second audio... Uh, video siya eh, pero black lang. Tapos may audio lang, ganun. Tapos... Meron parang nag-harmonize lang na vocals nila. Na actually ang hirap ngang i-determine ko ano yung sinasabi nila. But according to articles, ang sinasabi raw nila, I don't know why I run away. Yun pala yung lyrics na yun. Pero ako honestly, pag pinapakinggan ko, hindi ko ma-decipher ko ano <laughs> kasi very breathy vocals lang, na harmony ganun. Teaser na teaser lang talaga. So, abangan na lang natin when that comes out again. That is by Ariana Grande and The Weeknd. And also guys, I have news for you. Every Friday, of course, tuloy-tuloy lang ang ating mix and match episode. So, this Friday, abangan nyo kung sino ang ating next na celebrity guest or celebrity searcher. Okay? Every Friday and 7pm live sa aming Kumu account at MixPH followed by TV premiere naman ng Mix and Match um, and sa TV ang mga panood naman ay yung third episode which is yung episode ni Ara Davao kung saan you know na napusuan niya doon ang pinili niya ay si Asong Pinoy yun okay so panoorin natin lahat yan pero sa ngayon ang panoorin muna natin ay yung ating Mix Spotlight Artist na BGYO BGYO here they are now with the light at number three. Meron na ba kayong plans this weekend? Huwag na kayong gumawa ng plans, guys. Eto na lang sundan ninyo. Friday, 9pm. Gusto nyo ba ng free concert? Meron kami yan! 9pm sa aming Kumu account, Mix PH. Abangan nyo kung sino ang ating special guest na artist for this Friday. And also, we have Mix Pop Quiz every Saturday and Sunday, 12.30pm. So from the name itself, Pop Quiz yan. 10 questions about music and pop culture. If you answer all 10 questions correctly, you will win up to 100,000 Kumu coins. So mag-join na kayo dyan. Kung kailangan nyo ng coins, pang send them virtual gifts sa mga favorite nyong streamers sa Kumu, sumali na kayo dyan for free lang yan. And now, let's go to our number 2 music video. So, pansin nyo guys, kanina number 3 yung BGYO. Ibig sabihin, may bago nang nag sa kanila sa number 2 spot at may, ba- may bago tayong contender para sa number 1. Nako! Sino nga bang ating number 2 for today? It's Sarah G! Popsters rejoice! Congratulations nasa number... Congratulations! Nasa number 2 na si Sarah G for today with her very cute uh, music video for Your Universe featuring O4 the dog. Here it is at number 2.
Shout out to all my fellow Swifties out there. I have a lot of news about Taylor Swift. So first one, yung Netflix documentary niya na Miss Americana won another award. And this time, it's from Rotten Tomatoes' 2020 Golden Tomatoes Award. It won Fan Favorite Movie or Fan Favorite Film of 2020. So congratulations! At nag-thank you rin si uh, Taylor Swift, as always naman sa fans who made it happen. And now, ito na yung mas malaki talagang achievement ni Taylor Swift. So na-break niya ang record ng The Beatles for um, securing a number one spot for three albums in the shortest uh, amount of time. So, yung beat, The Beatles um, held the record kasi nag tatlong albums na number one sila in 364 days. Yes. Tapos, um, si Taylor Swift naman nagawa niya in 259 days. There you go. So, congratulations. Um, so, yun yung Folklore, Evermore, and Fearless, Taylor's version. Kasi ba parang 259 days lang yung pagitan. I, I mean, yung buong span of time na nirelease yung tatlong albums na yun. So, nag-number one lahat yun sa UK chart. So, congratulations! And, as you know, as a thank you to everyone, um, Taylor Swift revealed na she is still in the recording studio recording daw something. Been in the studio recording all day, ganun ganon. Tapos may mga fans na nag wait lang, sabi niya, been in the studio recording, not re-recording. So, inisip ng mga tao, wait, may bago na naman ba siyang album? Or re-recording ba yung ibig niyang sabihin? Well, whatever the case may be, it's it's Taylor Swift. It's Taylor Swift content. So, kung ano man yung niluluto niya, of course, we're gonna be eating it up and uh, we're all gonna be enjoying it in, you know, uh, a span of one day <laughs> pag release niya. Pero, guys, kung ano man yun, abangan na lang natin. For now, number one pa rin ang SB19 with what? Enjoy! That was SB19 with what at number one. Congratulations sa lahat ng mga 18. Pero guys, umangat si Sarah G today yung Your Universe to number two. So mga popsters, mga 18, mga aces, lahat ng fandoms. Guys, bumoto na kayo every day sa aming official website, mixph.com. Kung sino sa tingin nyo ang karapat-dapat na maging number one. And also follow us on our social media accounts on Twitter at Mix Philippines, on Instagram and Kumu at MixPH, on Facebook and TikTok, Mix.Philippines, and on YouTube. YouTube, we have two accounts. Please subscribe to our channels, Mix Philippines and All Music Mix. Follow me as well at Ayi de la Cruz, AI de la Cruz on everywhere, especially Laika. Guys, follow nyo sa Laika. And thank you so much to Mom and Me Nails by Nail Files, Anytime Fitness West Avenue Branch, and to my new family, Globe at Meron na hong Sobrang bago rin na family ngayon, ang Novo Dental family. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and what else? Um, hello to my lolas, eh, na lagi nanonood si Nanay Mario Chu, Mama Ding, and to my mom, Mommy Ebel. Hello, I love you. And that is it for the Mixed Daily Top 10 for today. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm DJ Ai, and this has been the Mixed Daily Top 10. Bye, guys!